In this video, we're going to talk about how to find the third derivative of a parametric function. So let's say that x is equal to t cubed minus 3, and y is equal to t to the fifth power minus t to the fourth power. How can we find a third derivative? Well, we need to find the first derivative, the second, and then the third. So let's start with the first derivative. What you want to do is find dx dt and dy dt. So dx dt is 2t, and dy dt is going to be 5t to the fourth minus 4t cubed based on the power rule. So now we need to find dy dx. And you could do this by simply dividing dy dt by dx dt. And so that's going to be 5t to the fourth minus 4t cubed divided by 2t. Now, we can divide everything by t. So if we multiply the top and the bottom by 1 over t, we could say that dy over dx is equal to 5t to the third power minus 4t squared, all divided by 2. And if you want to, you can separate it into two fractions. So we could say it's 5 over 2t to the third, and 4 over 2 is 2, so minus 2t squared. Now keep in mind that dx dt is 2t. We're going to need that later. So now let's find a second derivative, d squared y over dx squared. And that's equal to the derivative with respect to t of the first derivative, dy dx, divided by dx dt. And so that's the formula in which we could find a second derivative in parametric form. So we know what dy dx is. That's what we have here. So that's 5 over 2t cubed minus 2t squared. And dx dt is just 2t. So we're just going to put that in the bottom. So the derivative of t to the third is 3t squared. And the derivative of t squared is just 2t. So what we have now is 15 over 2 t squared minus 4t. And let's divide each by 2t. So 15 over 2 divided by 2, that's going to be 15 over 4. And t squared divided by t is just t. Negative 4t divided by 2t is negative 2. So we could say that d squared y over dx squared, that's 15 over 4 times t minus 2. Now let's find the third derivative, d cubed y over dx cubed. So we're going to differentiate the second derivative, d squared y over dx squared, with respect to t, and then divide it by dx dt. And dx dt, that's still 2t, so that, that's not going to change. So what is the derivative of 15 over 4t? So that's just going to be 15 over 4. And the derivative of negative 2 is 0. So we have 15 over 4 divided by 2t. And you can rewrite this fraction like this. 15 over 4 divided by 2t over 1. And then use the expression keep change flip. You can keep the first fraction the same, change division to multiplication, and then flip the second fraction. So the third derivative in this example is 15 divided by 8t. And so that's the answer. Now, for the sake of practice, let's work on another problem. Let's say that x is equal to t cubed and y is equal to 2t to the 6th power plus 3t to the 4th power. Go ahead and find the third derivative of the parametric function. So let's start with dx dt, just like we did before. In this case, we know it's equal to 3t squared. 
and dy dt, that's going to be the derivative of t to the 6 is 6t to the 5th power, and the derivative of t to the 4th is 4t cubed. So dy dt is going to be 2 times 6, or 12, t to the 5th, and 3 times 4 is also 12. So now let's determine dy over dx. So that's going to be dy dt divided by dx dt. And so that's 12t to the 5th power plus 12t cubed divided by 3t squared. In this case, let's separate it into two fractions. So let's divide each term in the numerator by the term in the denominator. So 12 divided by 3 is 4. t to the 5th divided by t squared, 5 minus 2 is 3. And 3 minus 2 is 1. So this is dy dx. And keep in mind, dx dt is 3t squared. We're going to need that later. Now let's find a second derivative, d squared y over dx squared. So we need to differentiate the first derivative with respect to t and then divide it by dx dt. So make sure you know that equation. Now let's replace dy dx with 4t cubed plus 4t. And dx dt, that's just going to stay 3t squared. The derivative of 4t to the third power, that's 12t squared. And the derivative of 4t is 4. So now let's divide this by 3t squared. So this becomes 12t squared over 3t squared plus 4 over 3t squared. Now, 12 divided by 3 is 4, and t squared over t squared, we can just cancel that. That becomes 1, and so this is just 4 plus 4 over 3 t squared, and so that's equal to the second derivative. Now, let's move on to the third derivative, d cubed y over dx squared. So this time, we need to differentiate the second derivative with respect to time, and then divide that by dx dt. So what is the derivative of 4 plus 4 over 3t squared? And keep in mind, dx dt, it's still 3t squared. Now, in order to differentiate this expression, we need to move the t squared to the top. And I need to fix something. This should not be a 2. That should be a 3. So the third derivative, d cubed y over dx cubed, that's going to be the derivative with respect to t of 4 plus 4 over 3 t to the negative 2. And this is all divided by 3t squared. The derivative of 4 is 0. And the derivative of this, we need to rewrite the expression and then find the derivative of t to the negative 2, which is negative 2t to the minus 3 based on the product rule. Not the product rule, but the power rule. Now let's simplify what we have. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. So we have negative 8 over 3 times t raised to the negative third power divided by 3t squared. At this point, I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by 3 just to get rid of that 3 on top. So I have negative 8t to the minus 3 divided by 9t squared. So at this point, I'm going to move this t back to the bottom. And so this is the final answer. Negative 8 over 9 t 
t to the fifth power. So that's equal to the third derivative of the parametric function.